All right. So. Interesting. All right, guys, when you're seeing something like this, this looks like a trinomial. This looks like something that would be factorial. The easiest way, if you guys remember, I think the most difficult thing about this is the math is actually pretty easy. The most difficult thing is you guys got to get used to those trigonometric functions that I'm talking about. So what I would recommend doing is write this with x's and y's. Forget about the trigonometric functions. Let's just write this as x and y's. Now, I would not factor something like this. And you guys can see in my homework, I'm going to explain to you. To, I wouldn't try to factor something like this. I would write it in this format. Okay, That's much easier for me to see factoring, right? Most of your practice of factoring is looked like that. Would you guys agree? OK, so basically we're looking at what two numbers multiply to give you one, add to give you negative two. Yes, x minus 1 times x minus 1, or x minus 1 squared, right? So if you guys are going to be looking over here, what, did, what does x really represent? Sine of x. Done. That's it. 